this mobile version of Sonic Mania, but bad as everyone says it is. Let's find out. So, I'm going to... Okay, that's cool. Um, I've never played Sonic Mania before. Um, so, <laughs> this is gonna be like a first time playing the mobile experience and a first time playing the game in general. But anyway, um, I'm gonna compare this. After I'm done with Sonic Mania, I'm gonna play all of the other Sonic games on mobile to see, like, if Sonic Mania really is better than the other Sonic mobile games. Or if it's worse. Like, or if it's just straight track, like everyone says it is. I can already tell that like, the screen isn't in like full, full screen. You know, I like, usually you will like play like, pulling the entire screen, but anyway, tap anywhere, alright. This game uses an autosave feature, okay. Um, let's see, main menu, we got Mania, Encore, options. I'm gonna just go Mania mode. Um... Whoa. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, wait, I think I found out how you like so Oh, no, I didn't want to skip it. I didn't want to skip it. Exit. Yeah. I thought you moved with your finger, but you moved with- we moved with this. Okay. And then now, how do you switch? Do you, like... How do you switch characters then? Alright, we'll just go with Sonic and Tails for right now. We'll just go with Sonic and Tails for right now. Alright, Sonic 3 cutscene. You already see the buttons down there. Okay! Wow, quite the start. Alright, so it's, so you can probably see that little circle right there. Alright, so that's how you move around. This button on the right is jump. I'm already noticing something. I don't think you can move diagonally. No. But you can try moving south. You know. Alright, I think that was another component I was talking about. But yeah, we're gonna play this version of Sonic Mania, and then we're gonna play all the other Sonic, uh, mobile ports. Like the Sonic 1 mobile port, Sonic 2 mobile port, oh, something just happened to Tails. Um, like Sonic 4 mobile port. Yeah. Just to compare it to this mobile version of Mania, and see if this really is the best portable version of Mania, or if you should just get the Switch version. If you're looking for a good portable mini <laughs> Okay, I don't know how I made it past that without dying, but whatever. Oh, whoa! Oh, special stage. Catch the UFO. Catch the UFO, so we gotta get the blue balls. <laughs> the, 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 the only time we're getting blue balls is a good thing. Alright. Catch the UFO. Where is the UFO, though? It's impossible. It's impossible to catch the UFO. Is that it up there? I don't know how this special stage works. I've never played on a game before. Oh, that's the UFO? How are you supposed to catch it then if it's constantly like. Alright, so we need to get the blue walls to get the... or and rings 
to like increase your time. Mach 2, what do you want to? Oh, is that? No, that's not a UFO. I do not understand a single thing about this. Time over. Whoa, I did so good on that special stage. Alright. Anyway, Green Hill Zone Act 1. We'll complete Green Hill Zone and then we'll compare the other Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. It's definitely different than the regular Green Hill Zone. Oh. Oh no. There we go, I think that's what you gotta do. Alright. Yeah, this is literally like Sonic Superstars. Well, like, you have to wait for them to get into like they're, like, vulnerable state before you can attack them, which is one thing I really hated about the boss battles in the Super Star. So, I don't know. Yeah, apparently people say this is, like, the best Sonic game of all time. Alright, we got him down. Oh, no. There we go. Oh no, I wanted to bounce it up and down. Come on, bro. Yeah, people swear by their mouths that this is the best Sony game of all time. But like, personally, I'm not really seeing it. Like, personally, I'm not really seeing it. Wait, hold on, we'll have to check this out later, but I think... Oh, you have to drop dash. Drop dash is... I hate it when Classic Sonic games do that. I genuinely hate it when Classic Sonic games do that. Well, I go have you going really fast. So, have like just a random spark there to make it go. Exactly like that. Alright, well, at least we got some much there. Yeah, I'm not really seeing how this is like the best Sonic game of all time. Or like the best class Sonic game of all time. The best class Sonic game will always be Sonic the Hedgehog The full version. Speaking of, um, Sonic 3, uh, mobile stuff, not the movie Sonic 3, the game Sonic 3. Um, wasn't that supposed to be like a. Wasn't this supposed to be like a mobile port of Sonic 3? Oh no. Oh no. Uh, an auto scroller and a Sonic game? That's like a recipe for disaster. Yeah, I don't get how it's the best time in the whole time, or like the best Yeah, we did it, okay. Alright, so I think he's the last act of Green Hill Zone, right? 
Oh, never mind, another cutscene. Bruh. I love how Sonic's supposed to be looking down at Eggman, but really he's just looking through the ground. Because his down sprite is just like that. Oh, we're in chemical plant now? Okay. Chemical plant. Alright, well, we're not gonna check out the full Sonic Mania right now. We were just gonna check out the full green color so Alright. Now we're going to compare it to the other Sonic Mobile ports and see how well Sonic Mania Plus on mobile stacks up with the other Sonic Mobile ports. Sonic 2 for mobile. How does it stack up against Sonic Mania Plus? So what we're going to do is for the rest of these mobile games, we're just going to just play the, all the first zone and then move on to the next one. Oh, it's, yeah, it's definitely in like full, full swing. Like with Sonic Mania, it definitely wasn't in like 4x3 aspect ratio, but like, you know, it, you know, it wasn't like wide screen like this. You can you can go back to the Sonic Mania portion of this video and uh, compare it to this. And that is a vast difference. So if you're looking for like, if you're wanting it to cover up like the entire screen, but if you're wanting to if you're wanting if you're wanting to play Sonic Mania portably, but you want to play a version where it covers up like the entire screen. Play it on the Nintendo Switch, because you'll have it portably, and to my knowledge, it'll be in full, full screen, like this. Uh, alright, we're back. We're back. I'll just cut every time there's an ad, because, like, I'm gonna, you know what, I'm just gonna go through the torture of all these ads, so you guys don't have to. Alright? Alright, so we're just, like I said, for all these, we're just gonna compare. We're just gonna complete the first zone, and then uh, just compare it to Sonic Mania Plus, see how it stacks up. So, I will say. Oh, wait! You can't move that any in the original ones? Okay, well, remove that from my complaint list of uh, the original of the Sonic Mania Plus Mobile Four. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Wow, I didn't get an ad there. I'm genuinely surprised. Alright, well in this case then, I've got to be extremely careful. There we go. Oh, well, Tails just went flying off into the abyss. I was about to say. I don't even care if my invincibility runs out. Oh, there you go. Okay, yeah, that's all I was going to do. So yeah, obviously... Yeah, I don't think there's a drop dash. Oh yeah, I forgot the Eggman boss battle here. I never understood how, like... So in the cutscene, he flies, right, and then he gets in the car. Why would he, like, purposely do that? Like, he's just asking to be defeated, you know? That was one thing I never understood when I first put on to. Oh, yeah, another thing before here. But, Joey, you're supposed to be making some, or, uh, Spongebob Simulator content. I'll get to that in the Sonic one port or the I don't know. I, it's either one or CD, but it's the next port. Oh no, wait. Oh yeah, I forgot you can still do that. All right. Um. All right. Uh. Time to move on to the next port, which I'm pretty sure is 
Sonic 1 port. Sega! Alright, Sonic 1 on mobile. How does it stack up against Sonic Mania Plus? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna complete Green Hill Zone, then we're gonna move on to see the next mobile game. I didn't know there was a secret spring there. Anyway, what I was saying at the end of the Sonic 2 section about like, Joey, you're supposed to be making SpongeBob Simulator content. Oh, I'll make Sonic Speed Simulator videos if they, so like the, well, I don't know if the video's out by the time this is uploaded or not, but I'm currently making a video on the ESP Silver. Oh, nice, we got the chaos on there. Um, I'm currently making a video on the ESP Silver event. So, like, if they add a big event like that, I'm gonna make a video on it. But, like, if it's just your generic, like, collect 5,000 Chaos Orbs, destroy, like, a gazillion bad nicks for, like, Sonic with a tuxedo. Oh, no, wait, that that's already, that already exists. Um, it's Sonic with, uh, a, um, Sonic with, uh, um, red eyes instead of green eyes. Pull! Pull! That was so close. We almost died right there. But we got the emerald. Wow, I'm actually surprised we got the emerald. Alright, we got one chaos emerald. Chaos emeralds are honestly kind of pointless in Sonic 1. Like, it barely changes the ending. Anyway. I forgot. <sighs> Green Hill, Act 2. Like I said, I'll cut whenever there's an ad. I'll go through the torture of all these ads so you guys don't have to. Alright. Yeah, like, um... Now, if we're talking about, like, regular, like, mainline Sonic stuff, um, if something happens in mainline Sonic, like, if, the uh, I don't know, the Sonic 3 trailer might be out by now, but uh, assuming it isn't out by now, when the Sonic 3 trailer comes out, I will 110% react to that, just like I did with Sonic X Shadow Generations. I'm also going to react to that Shadow animation that they're doing in, like, July, I think. Like, when Sonic, when Sonic X Shadow Generations comes out, I might make a review on it, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. I'll also make a video on Sonic Rumble when it comes out. Right, Green Hill Zone Act 3. After this, we're gonna move on to Sonic CD. Oh, I was in desperate need to bring him right there. <sighs> I hate it when Cloud that. That's the one thing that really grinds my gears about Plastic Sonic games, when they do that. Oh yeah, I completely forgot the Sport of Sonic, uh, Sonic 1 has, uh, been bad. And I completely missed the... There we go. The, the, um, this Eggman boss battle is, like, easy as pie for me, but... You know, I mean, just in case, you know, better safe than sorry. Yeah, I haven't done this boss battle in so long, so I can put it how it works. Well, I know how it works, but... Alright, yeah, I think, like, I don't know, I know how it works, it's just, I forgot, like, the gist of it. You know, like, the motion, but... I'm back in motion now. Boom. See, I think he takes eight hits, so that'll be number six, seven, and then the final hit. Yep, eight hits. And there we go. So, Sonic One mobile port checked out. Let's move on to the Sonic CD mobile port and see how it stacks up against the Sonic Mania Plus mobile port. Alright, Sonic CD on mobile. I never 
totally dumb about high score. Oh. Oh yeah, the noise thing is like this one. You can go back to like the Sonic 1 or Sonic 2 and the yellow. Oh wait, we're time traveling. We're time traveling. Oh, wait, are we going to the past or the future? This is definitely the future. Yeah, it's the yeah, it's, uh, F up there. We're definitely in a bad future right now. I'm not really concerned about like, the future or anything. I'm just playing through Palm Tree, the entirety of Palm Tree Panic. Yeah, it's supposed to be slightly different. Oh, goal. Oh, hey, that's. Unfortunate thing is, I don't know where any of the robot locations are, so you may just have to look them up on YouTube. Anyway, zone two. Yeah, there's definitely three zones, because that would have been a boss. Alright, Tom 3 Panic Act 3. Yeah, I was right. There's a um, three acts instead of two. A little Mandela effect that this thought about is like. Um, I always thought the invincibility music was, uh... <laughs> it doesn't have the terrifying UFO music. I can clearly figure out how this box works. I remember the- I think there's like a key so you can like stay behind here and he'll like- and you can defeat him in like 5 seconds. Oh wait. Alright, we got the flower planet. Alright, now let's check out the mobile port of Sonic 4 Episode 2, the final mobile port of this video. Sonic 4 Episode 2. One thing while I'm stressing to like that, one thing I never understand about Sonic 4 Mobile Force is like, Sonic 4 Episode 2, you can get free, but Sonic 4 Episode 1, you have to pay like $3 for it. Like, either just make both of them paid or make both of them free. You know? Yeah. And we thought the aspect ratio on Sonic Mania was flawed. It was bad. The aspect ratio on this is like, Wow. Although I don't think Christian Blake had worked on this version, so that might be why he has been really bad. Oh yeah, I forgot the limit attack. Because the limit attack is definitely scary in the 2D Sonic game. Alright. I, I haven't really played. Yeah. 
shows no one will be for like five seconds. Alright. Well, I'm glad I didn't see that coming. From some to Bro, it tells me to Bro, where are the air bubbles? There they are. So I just noticed that. Alright, so maybe you have some active sunken ruins. Alright, I can remember if uh. Sonic 4 episodes. Oh, oh.
I had to rank all the Sonic Mobile ports that we played in the speed of the worst the best. And I have to say the worst is definitely uh, Sonic 4 Episode 2. One of the main reasons being it's Sonic 4 and even if Sonic 4 was good, the aspect ratio is like way worse on Mania. Way worse than Mania Plus. You know? Like, we thought the Mania Plus aspect ratio was bad. This is bad. So like, uh, why? So like, I'm playing on like an iPhone 14 phone that the aspect ratio is like the definition of mold. Like, that's, like, I don't think Sonic 4 episode 2 had Christian Whitehead working on it, so, like I said, that's probably why, but, yeah. Um, the next one would probably be Sonic CD, then Sonic 1, then Sonic Mania Plus. Oh, yay, I'm drowning. Hooray! Hooray. Yay, I love chemical corner. It's the best zone in the game. I don't know how I made it past that, but... Anyway, we're, we're just gonna go to the pause screen for now. Anyway, yeah, Sonic 4 Episode 2, Sonic CD, Sonic 1, um... Sonic Mania Plus, and then... Sonic 2. I'm placing Sonic 2... As the best. Because Sonic 1, 2, and CD are basically, like, identical. Except for some slight things, like the main menu. But, I'm just... So, I'm just ranking them based off of, like, how much I like them. Because they're, like, they're basically identical in terms of their mobile ports. But, Sonic Mania Plus... Yeah, I don't really get how people call this the best Sonic game of all time. It's... I don't know, it's not really my cup of tea. I mean, some people definitely enjoy it, but it's just not really my cup of tea, you know? Um, but yeah, Sonic Mania Plus, I'd say... It's... I'd say... It's not as bad as people say it is. It's definitely... Like, people are saying this is, like... Like, the worst Sonic Mobile port of all time. Like, and... I agree, like, it... Like, I don't know, like... On some things, I agree, like, the aspect ratio not being in, like, full, full screen. Like, but, like, it's basically the exact same thing as the Switch version. So, honestly, it's just one of those instances where, like, if you have both versions, like, and, you know, like, you're going on a car trip, you want to play Sonic Mania portably, you could really just pick any you could just randomly pick between the mobile version and the Switch version, and it would basically be identical. So, that's my take on Sonic Mania Plus Mobile. It's not as bad as people say it is, but in some aspects, yeah, it's pretty bad. Like, the aspect ratio not being in full, full screen. I actually have the Nintendo Switch version and I actually have a Nintendo Switch version, and in between Sonic 4 Episode 2 and this part of the video, I played up to Chemical Plant on the Nintendo Switch, and yeah, I have to agree, the the aspect ratio. If you want full, full screen, and you want to play, if you want to play it portably, get this, if you want to play it portably, I'd still say get the Switch version, just because it's, you know, in full, full screen, it covers up the entire screen, you know? But if you're fine with, like, but, like, if you're fine with it not covering the entire screen, you can honestly just pick the, either the mobile version or the Switch version, and both of them would be interchangeable with each other. So, like, if you don't care about, like, the screen not being in, like, full, full screen then you're not really missing out much if you play on the mobile version other than, like, the Switch version. You know, there's not really much difference besides that. So it's not as bad as people say it is, but, like I said, in some aspects, it could be pretty bad, like the aspect ratio. So, yeah, that's my takes on Sonic Mania Plus Mobile. Definitely some hot takes, because I've seen some people roasting this game hard on Twitter. 
But yeah, that was Sonic Mania Plus on mobile.